place that we we really we ain't played too well. I mean, it was a complete different uh, tone from the other night. I mean, the other night I thought we can we controlled the game. I mean, we just we we had brought the intensity the other night. We threw the first punch in the first quarter, and here they came and they threw the first punch in the first quarter. And so coaches talked about um, saying that this league is a first quarter league that whoever throws the first punch is usually the team that wins. So that's something that we got to focus on, and I think we're just gonna keep getting better at it. Eric Wilson, ten seventy. Uh, Cole, you know, the rookies such as yourself have a very shortened season with regards to, you know, really no time to really prepare yourself. What's one of the things that you're doing to kind of elevate yourself so that you are ready come game time? Um, I mean, the, the really the – I mean, I'm, I'm going to do everything on the physical side to get ready. I mean, cool. Uh, there's only so much you can do on that. But it just the, – the, I think it's going to be the, 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 the difference maker is just watching that film. So just making sure you know in your team's playbooks – Seeing what's worked for them in the past, trying to add that, see which, which how you can what you could bring to the table to contribute to the team's success. So I mean, I think that's just been the main thing that I've been trying to do is just really study the plays, study the personnel on my team, and see how I can make everyone better at the same time, and uh, also bring to the table what I bring to the table in terms of scoring, and then not just the passing. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cool. We got to see you out there with uh, Markel a little bit. How how comfortable do you feel with him on the floor, and how comfortable are you getting with with all your other teammates? Oh, I'm super comfortable out there with Markel. I mean, just because that's. I mean, look, Markel is at his best when he's in the open court. So if I can get in, I can push, and I can hit him ahead. That's 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 what we want right there. Just because he's a really good downhill player. If he gets downhill, he's really hard to stop. I can tell you that from being in practice with him. Shoot. So, but um, it's 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 fun playing with not with not just him out there, but also Evan. MCW, I just, I really, really love, love, love this team. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. In your second game, how, uh, how much more comfortable did you feel that maybe some of the first game jitters are, were out of the way and, and uh, how much did you feel like yourself? Um, that it was, th this second game felt like a completely different game than the first game. I just, I, I felt pretty comfortable out there. I mean, I kind of know what coach wants to get out of me. So in terms of just running the team, make sure everyone's organized, but at the same time as being myself. And that's putting pressure on the defense to pass and score. And then on the defensive end too, just trying to lock in defensively. So, I mean, I definitely felt way, way more comfortable, but there's still still ways to go. I, I, can, I can get better for sure. We can get better. Paul Casanova. Yeah, hi. Um, who would you say on the team is in your ear the most? Is it a coach, a player? Who sits there and helps you out and is in your ear the most? Um, it's been a couple guys. I mean, Markel, Evan. I'd say the, the guy probably has been in my ear the most. It's been really helpful. It's probably been uh, MCW, Mike Carter, Williams. He's been um that guy who's just been there whenever I had a question that I just – if I wanted to ask a player, he was that dude I've just been talking to. So, he's he's been awesome. That's, he's been like a, a big brother figure to me. Eric Wilson, 1070. So, Cole, you had 20 minutes – uh, the first game, 27 tonight, as the game kind of, you know, came to you a little more, did you feel definitely more comfortable out there? Yeah, I mean, it just as I definitely started to feel more confident. I can see that my teammates, they started to trust me out there because they saw I wasn't going to make bad decisions. So I thought that the decision-making was big. And so once that, just, as they start to trust me more, I think it's just, just going to get better and better. Okay, time for one more question. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Cole, you mentioned a little bit ago about the speed of the game. What are what are some things you're trying to do to slow the game down a little bit? Give yourself a little bit of rhythm. Um, just play at a good pace. You can't you can't just go from zero either zero miles an hour, hundred miles an hour. It's just it's just changing pace and just really like just slowing the game down in your head. Just like even when you're moving fast, being able to decisively think, all right, what's what's going to happen in this next possession right here, not even this next possession, next two, three possessions. Just, just, it's because, you know, it's, it's not checkers. This is chess. You got to think ahead. So just that's, that's been the main thing I've been, been trying to lock in and do. And so just all I can do is polish the mind. That's going to be the best way to, to learn. It. And besides polishing the mind, gain experience. Okay, Cole, thank you so much. Yep, thank you.